Furman University Housing and Residence Life is a real stickler when it comes to one particular aspect of campus living. No, we're not talking about underage drinking or even candles and string lights. Furman's pet policy is especially stringent. But that doesn't mean it isn't possible to have a pet during your time at college. So, here is Funk's list of the best pets for college students. First up is the only pet that is explicitly allowed according to Furman Housing, a fish. Not just any fish though, it must be a fish in a 10 gallon or smaller tank. This limits students to the gold or beta fish varieties. But these animals can be really interesting to keep in your dorm. Watch the fish as it swims, looks at interesting things, eats tiny pieces of fish food. Riveting stuff, am I right? While a lot of college students fall back on plants, at Funk, we've discovered that most of these leafy friends are just too difficult to take care of. Too much water, and they die. Too little water, and they also die. And don't even get me started about sunlight. The best plant variety for a busy college student is a cactus. Cacti can be a prickly bunch, but they are a great way to liven up any bedroom. They thrive on direct sunlight, and they only need to be watered every few weeks. So, liven up your thorny pal by making or purchasing a new pot for it to sit in. Next up on our list is an old classic. A lot of pets are more trouble than they're worth, because you need to clean up after them, feed them, take them on walks. But this species is especially friendly to the hectic lifestyle of most Furman students. A pet rock will thrive with any level of owner attentiveness. All you need is an especially nice looking rock, some paint, sharpies, and if you're feeling ambitious, some googly eyes. And then your new best friend will be ready to rock and roll. Now to bring back an old funk classic. Why not put your pet to work for you? We created a video more than a year ago about how to compost in your dorm room using worms, and it still works. All you need is a bucket, some mail delivery wriggly red earthworms, and all the trash they can consume. Worms are super chill, they don't produce any odor, and they mostly regulate themselves as long as you're willing to monitor moisture levels and clean out the bucket every so often. One of the highest maintenance pets on this list is definitely a roommate. Roommates can be really hit or miss, so we only recommend this pet for experienced caretakers. Most roommates are relatively self-sufficient, although they can sometimes need cleaning up after in the bathroom or kitchen areas. If you're looking for a higher level of involvement and interaction with your pet, though, a roommate is perfect, because they can play board games or sports depending on their temperament. A very overlooked pet that might already be present in your apartment is mold. Mold is colorful, fast-growing, and super low maintenance. Check the corners of your bathroom for any moldy friends that might have already turned up, and make sure to keep the environment moist, smelly, and dirty in order for it to feel right at home. For those who prefer more variety than, say, a pet rock can provide, you can also make your inanimate friend out of other household materials. Origami is a growing global craze, and you can find a how-to on making any of your favorite animals out of paper. These critters need next to no care, but just be cautious where you set them around your apartment. One misplaced laptop or a seat on the wrong cushion could put an end to your delicate pal. Well, that does it for Funk's list on housing approved pets that are ideal for college students. If you would like information on how to get a more standard dog or cat type animal approved to live with you, reach out to the student office for accessibility resources and tune in again tomorrow for another episode of Funk.